Wild Leighton is a 1981 33 foot hunter. This John Cherubini designed masthead sloop has a fin keel with a spade rudder. She is held firmly in place with a 35 pound mantis anchor and 150 feet of 5 16 high test chain. A draft of 5.25 feet lets us nestle closer to the beautiful islands and caves protected from surge. With only a 10,600 pound displacement, she is light and fast, allowing us to use light wind and still sail to the next protected anchorage, all while avoiding most of the heavy weather. With a mast height of 47.25 feet, there's no issue getting under bridges down the ICW. Her overall length is 32.67 feet with a beam of 10.17, making her quite spacious for a small vessel. She's powered by a large 150% Genoa on a roller and a batten main. A jib or storm jib combined with a triple reefed main allows for sailing in many different conditions. For light downwind sailing, a jinniker can be unsocked for better performance. When the wind dies, a 13 horsepower Yanmar 2GM can be fired up to still carry a reasonable hull speed around five to six knots. It took a lot of hard work, learning and mistakes to transform her from a floating cottage, which barely ever left the marina, to a now self-sufficient sailboat, which we call home. Over the years, she has undergone many refits and repairs to keep the dream alive. Although not a blue water boat, its solid fiberglass construction make the Cherubini Hunters a strong boat for a production boat. She has sailed from the Great Lakes of Canada down the Erie Canal and the east coast of the US, sailing back and forth from Florida to the Bahamas for three cruising seasons, transporting us to amazingly beautiful locations, all with our comforts of home closely at hand. Let's take a look at everything this hunter has on board to keep our family happily cruising. Water is the most important thing on a boat. We carry 48 gallons in a tank underneath the V-berth in the front of the boat. An extra three five-gallon jerry cans stowed on deck gives us a few extra days away from civilization. A 15-gallon waste tank allows us to cruise inland where you cannot pump overboard. We also carry 19 gallons of diesel behind the engine as well as two five-gallon jerry cans on deck. We enter while the Intrepid from the stern, or back, and tie off our dinghy to the stainless steel dinghy davits. Our cockpit is cozy, and this is where we eat most of our meals, with a teak fold-out table. The back seat is perfect for filleting because it's easy to clean fish with the drain beneath. We also have a huge lazarette to store many things right under the starboard seat. With halyards and sheets all accessible from the cockpit and the four two-speed winches, it allows us to control the sails either as a team or solo. Here's the D-bird, which is where we sleep, biggest bed, and there's little storage shelves all along. And we have fans and a nice big hatch. Here's the head. With a little shower. Sink. Shelving. Sliding doors. Manual Jabsco toilet. Access to the engine from this side and more storage. On the F you have a quarter berth. Oh, oh. There's a cushion that goes right there to make it double bed. And right beside it is the engine compartment. All of this can be removed and you can access from here as well. And here we have our breaker panel, two burner alcohol stove with oven. And it works with the pressurized system for the alcohol. You have two latches, one on each side to make your lee cloth. And if someone is sleeping, you can drop this on and you get a full double bed. Otherwise, this tucks underneath 
and then you get your regular settee. And the table here. Watch for us underneath the table. <laughs> you have two leaves, which fall down with little levers here. Both can swing down. And the whole thing and lifts up. So oh, you've got to lift it pretty high. I see that, you got to lift it above that. Yeah, and then this swings around. Can you tell it's been a while since we... There you go. And then this. locks back in, and you can even use this for an extension for cooking. You have the galley here, with a nice big deep sink. And the fridge with an easy cold plate. We've added extra insulation. It's been working really, really nicely. And a little shelf for storage. Autopilot, which is belt driven with a motor down there. There's 300 watts of solar and the side ones, there's 400 watts, but they really don't output anything, it's more protection. We have a 20 pound Danford with 120 feet of road with a little six foot of chain. That's been great for our stern anchor. PPT. This button turns on the light underneath the quarter berth and you can cycle through your different readings. Center one controls the solar. So if you flick that off, you turn off the solar to the MPPT charge controller. The left one here, the red uh, one, is for our starter bank. So you push this button to disconnect it from the starter bank. If we want to connect the lithium, we just turn on this one. So now the lithium is connected to the MPPT and turn back on the solar and you're charging the lithium. 280 amp hour battery in a battery case here, along with the 1000 watt inverter. Tucked in behind the battery case is our little device that lets us read our current and how much power we have, our state of charge. Then we also have a big fuse for the inverter here.